swooning over the gap or something. Alright, hi makers. Welcome to another episode of PH Dyer. I have with me Spooka today. Yes. Hi Spooka. You might remember Spooka from like episode four or something. He's been in the episode before. We're at Samantha's house babysitting Coda and like three other children. Cousins. Cousins that are over, yeah. Mommy's here. She doesn't want to be on camera. No, I don't feel well. <laughs> so, had a really nice day. I spent the day at the pool. Well, like two and a half hours at the yeah. pool. Um, the rest of my day, I spent some time taking pictures for the Age of Gold shawl, which I'm actually working on right now. And I took some pictures for Dyer Supplier's highlight reel. And then I spent some time looking at Virtual Fiber Fest. Um, Monica Thune from Up North Yarns actually helped me a whole lot with links and um, some information, like background information that you wouldn't be able to get on how much yarn to make and like what her experience was with the Virtual Fiber Fest. Right, so I think maybe I might try them soon um, to maybe help in the middle, like when I, when my sales lag a little bit, maybe it'll help me get out there a little more if I do them. So yeah. I know she did like six in the span of like two months. So she must really love doing them. The only problem is I get stage fright. It's going to be interesting to see if I get stage fright showing off my yarn. <laughs> yeah, see, if I always had a person with me, I think I'd get stage Usually they do have someone with them. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'll be with Yeah, you, so maybe I could like take scared. one of you along for the ride just because. Uh, maybe well, Samantha... We're not really going anywhere. No, but uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, maybe Samantha will want to put in some stitch markers or you'll want to show off some sets yeah. for your bags because we do the sock knit kits. Yeah. So, maybe I'll have a friend with me. I don't know. But yeah, so we're babysitting now. Um, we may do the beach tomorrow with the kids. Smith invited us. Um, we had the funeral on Tuesday. And it was sad, but um, it was really hard to wear a mask in the heat. So honestly, it was really uncomfortable way to go to a funeral. But I guess that's what we have to do. Um, but it was a beautiful funeral. He looked great. And my dad picked out a really nice casket. Um, he picked out a color that he would pick for a car. Because my grandfather was like super into cars. Yeah. He had chrome and stuff. So it looked like beautiful. beautiful the way you would want a car to look. So it was sad. But um, we're kind of relieved it's over. So he's not suffering anymore. And it was just too hard at the end, so. Yeah, old. Yeah, so, and he was very old. He lived a very full life. So, things just come to an end. So, it's sad that, and weird that he's not going to walk back in the house one day and just show up. Um, or I call. Know. So weird. It and when I walk weird. by the bedroom, like, yep. uh, I think to myself that he's going to be there and he's not. Very strange. I know, when we were going to redo that room it won't feel like that anymore yeah it'll slowly be so yeah we're gonna try to redo the room that's that was pop up so it's gonna be really weird staying well, in room. there <laughs> yeah it used to be my room now i call it pop up's room <laughs> it's gonna be weird staying in there but we have to get off the floor at some point we've yeah. been on the floor on like a cot type of thing for too long and yeah that's time. yeah i mean just taking its toll, like I can't sleep like that anymore. Um, Are you checking your rooms? Yeah, I haven't finished one yet. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with this. Looks weird. I wouldn't do anything, just keep going. Let me say, yeah, keep going and then let me see it. See? Don't just it. looks stretched out or yeah, something. I have a stretched out stitch that's super weird. Yeah, just leave yeah. it. Don't try to fix anything, remember? It almost looked like a drop stitch, but then it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, it's not. Deceiving. Sorry, am I shaking the camera? That's all right. My heel looks just really bad. Um, I have no nails. I got all the fall dyeing done, obviously, because the fall collection is out. I left a coupon code for you guys on Patreon if you'd like to purchase it. It doesn't expire, so you have time. The He's cat so is literally kneading my leg. That's adorable. He's so happy to see you. That's so sweet. So 
So I got all the fall dyeing yeah, done. <laughs> uh, I got all the fall dyeing done, and I left you guys a coupon code on the Patreon website. Um, and it doesn't expire if you guys want to buy some fall yarn eventually. Um, I have the Age of Gold kits in now because we're each dyeing an Age of Gold Dying. shawl. I mean, we're each knitting yeah, an Age of Gold shawl. I'm doing this colorway as the main one, the toasted pumpkin seed. I didn't bring it with me. She's Sorry. doing the pumpkin spice. Oh, this color. I actually have it with me. Yeah, she has it. As her main color, and then we're going to switch for the accent color like I told you last time. Um, and so I decided it's really beautiful for Age of Gold since it has like all those golden colors in it. Mm. So I put them up as kits on the this on the nice website. Thing. So if you guys are interested in a shawl kit, and then you can pick your base and customize your primary color on whether or not you want this one or the pumpkin spice. You done a room? Yeah. So and Samantha made this adorable little stitch marker. So. I wonder if we have enough light. Look, yeah, looks good. Oh my, he's so adorable. Sorry, we're back. Somebody hit somebody in the face over a video game, and then he it's got it shame. back in the face and I know, I got upset. decided he would get upset, and we tried to explain. You never yeah. hit anybody in the face, but you also don't hit them in the face unless you can get it back in the face. Yes, because you'll get hit. Yeah. So, so just an automatic reflex. It's boys. Boys. They do. So we're back. Ooh, you girls did it, too. Yeah, it's probably worse than they did it. Oh, big time. It was horrible. Um, for hours. I may die up the Halloween collection, but it's getting late now, so I probably won't do it tonight. Um, because I have a lot of knitting I need to get done, and I need to edit this vlog. There was one other thing. Oh, I need to write out my diary supplier highlight real thing. So I probably won't dye them tonight, but I think I'm gonna get them done in the next week or two, because I'll probably release them pretty soon. So keep an eye out for like the sneak peek of that. Um. And, oh, I want to show them your socks. Wait, i got to go around. Oh, okay, she's got to go around, half. and then I'll show you the socks. That's what I want the needles, right? I'm doing two at a time. So, uh, we got to go out a little bit this week. We went to uh, the Tilton to have a burger. I think you had a French dip or something. And yeah, it was We had some really good food, and we each had a beer, so it was nice to get out a little bit. Um, yeah, sitting outside was brutal. Really I mean, really brutal. I actually started to get sick from the heat, so I went inside, or I went inside the car for like yeah. 15 minutes at the end just to sit in the air. Um, it was like that still sort of heat that you just can't breathe. Um, we did go early, kind of, so I, I think that was probably a bad idea. We should probably go later when the sun starts going down, but um, but we still had a really nice time, and the food was delicious. Um, what else did we do? Went to a Joanne's. Oh yeah, we got to pick out some fabric. I can't show you any of the fabric because it's for the advent, but some of it, yeah. yeah, some of it. Um, but we got some really nice inside fabric to go with yeah. the outside mm -hmm. fabric for the advent shawl bags that mommy's making. So yeah. she's gonna. I guess you're gonna start making those soon, huh? Yeah, I like this. And one. I've been rolling minis, so I officially have a tiny little. Looks like a medium-sized box full of minis. And I'll keep working on those. It should only take me 10 days or so to like roll up the minis. Oh, and I ordered a bunch of wool. So there was that wool shortage I told you about. Um, they finally got notifications of an air freight shipment. And I was literally in the car like rushing to buy all the wool while they sent me the notification because I was afraid it was going to sell out again. Because um, sometimes you have to wait like a whole month. So it's been a problem. Like if I didn't get it then, I probably wouldn't have gotten it in time. So I ended up getting the wool and everything was fine. I'm on the wrong side. I just did the wrong thing. Okay, here. Hold on, I did the wrong thing. So I ordered a hundred skeins of 75-25 and a hundred skeins of 100% two ply fingering weight yarn and then I'm also on the lookout for a hundred skeins of 8020 and that'll probably be the most I buy for a little while unless I go through that pretty quickly or unless I get into one of those fiber festivals and maybe I have to use most of it yeah. um but I've been going through those socks pretty fast so 
100 might go pretty fast. So these are the steampunk socks. This is gears and cogs. And it's got like, yeah, the heel's gonna, let me see that heel. So this has that eighth or mini. I'll turn it the other way. I got my clip in it. Right here? No, the clip in the little thing. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, um, can't wait. That's going to look really nice, I think. They are. It's, it's got like green. hints of black in there. Can't wait. Lots of that brassy red and brassy golds. It looks real. Oh, look the platinum Jesus. in there. It makes really cool socks. I got actually a few men ordered from me finally. I know. That's um, the only things I've ever had men order for me are the Sky Rat colorway and then this one. Yeah. Maybe I should make more dark and well, Raven manly. Uh, manly. Yeah, so I thought the they're pumpkin both. seeds because they're my favorite. I guess I was biased. I thought that they were going to be the most popular, but honestly, I got three orders for Raven already, and I got like yeah, three favorites for Raven. I think everybody's just okay, loving absolutely. Raven because it's dark and moody. So I think I'm going to push out the Halloween colorways pretty soon. I because, got chills when I saw them in person. I yeah. Don't know when you brought them home. So I think I'm going to uh, push Let's out see. the Halloween one soon because I think people are kind of on the lookout for that right now. Can you do a row for me? Oh, we're on your phone. No, we're on the phone. How do I mark? Do you have a pen? Um, you can mark it. This will be my third one. You had marked two, didn't you? I don't have a pen or nothing. Um, I could have marked it on here. Oh, here's you one. You gotta get a pen. Oh, Spooka. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get I got it. it. You sure? Okay. Look at Spooka doesn't move. <laughs> He's so adorable. He, I love how he's Look at him taking a nap. He's our little knitting buddy. <gasps> we missed him, haven't we? Yeah. You run three, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else I did this week. Oh, I have a new look to my shop. I changed all my shop uh, banners and all, so go check that out yeah, if you have it. People put collections in or something or? yeah it looks really good i think so i've had the same picture up there since i started so i changed it up a little bit yeah me too i have it for a while so um i haven't done too much knitting on anything else exclusively i mean other than this shawl i've just been knitting on the age of gold shawl exclusively this week um with the funeral and all it was something that i could take and i wouldn't have to think about it because you repeat the same thing for like 85 rows. Um, so this is kind of like the go-to project that I I knitted on this week. And then yesterday I tried to get some cross stitch done in between my mini making and it was a nightmare. So I can't get the two sides to add up and I counted Me everything. Crazy. And it still will not add up. Gotta pull the whole thing out almost. Yeah, so I continually keep pulling it out and it just doesn't add up. I'm gonna make it a little bigger, I guess. So, I don't wanna make so it smaller. now I have to go back to here and pull out this because yeah. this was incorrect. I know, it, it's a little insane. I wonder what we're doing wrong. So I counted, I actually counted the holes. Yeah. So I have to pull out from here over um, because I spotted I had two squares Are you arguing? Um, so I think I have to pull out that whole thing again. And I actually had all this finished and it just will not add up. So I'm gonna have to pull out the thing again and try again. Um, I've carefully counted, but I, I just don't understand. Don't I'm She's up. having the same problem. I guess there's just like a new cross upset. stitcher thing. But I got so upset I put it down last night. I just couldn't do it anymore. It was just, just done. And I feel bad because I'm making you figure out math and all. I don't want, you know, and I probably should, you know, do my own stuff. I mean, that's fine. I just. I feel like if I, if I'm going to make it a little bigger, I'm going to yeah. make it work. Oh, um. It was 11 by 11. What was? The down yeah. is 11. Including the quarters, things, yeah. Just those big it's things, always eleven. Snowflakes. It's a square, yeah. Yeah. And I had that, but they still didn't match up. Right. And I counted the spaces in between each square, and it still didn't add up. 
so I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Everything seemed fine, but the two snowflakes don't match up when you go to close the square. Um. I wonder if we shouldn't have bought a heavier count. I mean, a, a bigger count. I don't think it matters. Twenty-five, maybe. It's just part of learning the smaller one, I guess. Yeah. Uh, John had his interview. Then he got another interview from the same people. They were so thrilled with them, they interviewed him 20 minutes later on a Zoom meeting. So the first one was a phone call, and the second one was a Zoom meeting. And we were really excited about it, and then he didn't get it. So, um, but the, the guy who runs the district manager or whatever, he said he was going to look within the company, their sister company, and see if they had anything. So... Even though he didn't get that position, we're hoping maybe that guy will still okay, look and we'll get another. He also got an interview in Baltimore, but um, we decided to turn it down because yeah. Baltimore's just too far. Yeah, we just got back together. I mean, yeah, I mean, we already lived that. Like, yeah. it almost caused divorce. It's like going backwards. We all, we both worked ninety hours or more a week, and yeah, it almost crazy. caused divorce. We were just always separate. We were always waving at each other, and then on our days off. And not that we don't like to work hard, because we like to work hard. We like nice things. We like to go on vacations. Yeah. And we like to make money. But when two people were working opposite schedules or working that hard. Yeah, your marriage goes out the window. Yeah, all you do is fight over chores. And all yeah. you can do on your days off, which I'm sure many of you know, is get clean. your chores done. Yeah, clean. That's the day when you got to get all your stuff done. So there's no actual quality family time. You just torture yourself from mm -hmm. minute one. It's just too much for a marriage, and ours wasn't going well when we did that. So I thought, like, why are we going to move away from family all over again? And she mm -hmm. was saying, like, to move and do all that, it's like going back to square one, and right. we don't really want to do that. Plus, I want to have babies, and I don't want to, like, move away from move family away from for so nothing. Hard, Andrea. Nobody wants to live away from them. So, and I'm thinking, like, the yarn yes. business is going really well. I might yeah. just have babies. And I don't I know because I'll be right there. Sister will be there. It'll right. Be I mean, and as long as you wear the proper and I ordered a respirator mask, like a high grade. Yeah, it's got cartridge filters and it's got the P100. Everything's in there. So I might just like go for it. Have some babies. My insurance came in like, why not? Yeah, I can do my yarn and have babies. Everybody else did it. Yeah. And if that's what's really going to make nice. me happy, I should just do it. Yeah. I keep waiting for the opportune time to do things. And, it's really and then it didn't work out. Like, I, I kept saying to myself, after the like PhD, that. I'll have a job. I'll have all these things. And no. none of that happened because of COVID. Like, I don't feel like waiting any longer. God says, tell me your plans. And he laughs at and them. Laugh at you. Yeah. Other, he has something else in store. And yeah. he might want us to be close. And, I mean, I'm sure John will get together. a job it's nice. soon. We're all you in the same business. He's it's finally wonderful. starting to get interviews. Like, this is the most yeah, he's been requested to interview. Out. He's really down about it because before COVID, he mm -hmm. would go for jobs and get all of them. Yeah. He'd have, like, all these interviews. People were lined yeah. up to hire him because of his experience. Yeah, no, and now, with no. COVID, he'll be lucky he ever gets a phone call back. Yeah. So, it's been hard on him. But I tried to tell him, like, I know how you feel. Well, I'm a doctor, and I couldn't get a job. So... Yeah. Everybody's just hurting right now. It's not a reflection of yourself and your ability. Yeah. It's just the way things are right now. Yeah. Okay. So we're not that. We're discouraged, but we're trying to, you know, not be. Right. Not be. Um, we might just try to move on with life while we can and while we're with my parents. And uh, just try to be happy with the situation. Yeah. I'm just, I'm really working hard at the yarn, and I'm hoping it really picks up. It's been paying our bills for three months. I don't know that we would have gotten through it yeah, without it the yarn, I mean, in the business, and and I really enjoy it, so I'm the hoping it really takes so off. Wide. I mean, it's a little scary. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this week. And like I said, I've just been monogamously knitting on this um, yeah, Age of Gold shawl. Really loving it. Look how pretty it looks. Very pretty. Can't wait to put the pumpkin spice on there. Um, and I'm gonna do, I think, a behind the scenes video of the Halloween um, colorways. And like I said, they'll be ex 
different than the Halloween Advent. The Advent ones are all exclusively for the Advent. So, um, so yeah, you'll get a behind the scenes on the Halloween ones. I think that'll be fun because those are fun ones to make. So yeah, well, happy making. I hope you're making something beautiful this week and I am. That, yeah, she is. And that your stuff has not gone as terrible as my cross stitching because it's really yeah. making me mad. <laughs> Uh, maybe for the making update, I'll see if I can get the squares to meet. So hopefully it'll either be a triumph or an epic fail. So uh, stay tuned. Monday, I will show you whether or not uh, I was successful. So, all right. Have a nice week. Bye. the thread or knitting through the back of her chair. <laughs> there it goes. How you doing? Knitting on the beach. Look, there's a little pocket in the back. <laughs> Knitters are really crafty like that. Yep. You can knit anywhere. Get it all salty. It's gonna be salty it's ocean knitting. Hazards of knitting on the beach, Samantha just had her pattern blow away. <laughs> That's Sandy! Oh, oh no! Sandy, but it's, it's, it's got it's got a binder cover thingy on it, so some nice lady stepped on it for her before she it got ran. to the ocean. She actually ran. She ran on my behalf. Oh, such a nice lady. So kind. <laughs> So I'm knitting my sock as usual. It's weird because like the springtime zen has a summertime feel, so I'm knitting my springtime zen sock on the beach all summer. And yes, it will take me all summer to make one sock because I hate sock knitting because I'm not good at it. Samantha, what are you knitting? Um, one of two. She's knitting her uh, project, the Pure Joy Shawl. The, she's counting. Lots of focus. They're wrap and turns, so it means business. So, yep, I got my little popsicle on there. You should have to have that for the summertime. I feel like when in the seas are rougher, it's actually prettier. I feel like there's a storm blowing in or something, but it's really pretty out. It's like overcast, so we're not baking in the sun, which is really nice. Yeah. Wrap and turn, after three months, you're not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I think. How rough that ocean is. The sea is really foamy today. Why does it get foamy? Yeah. So maybe this is the residual for the storm we just had. But it's beautiful. We're at the Tilton. We're gonna have a burger. And what do you have? I don't. I have no idea yet. Oh, I don't know. Cheesecake, probably. But we're having really good beers. A cold beer. What's your beer? Uh, Kate May. Kate May what? Crushing it. Crushing it. What does it taste like? It's a, it's got like a sweet honey taste to it. Oh, I don't know. It's you like really honey? Good. Is it citrusy or no? Nah, it's it's hoppy. Oh, okay. Mine is Double like IPA. a what is mine called? Cherry something? It's a cherry beer. It's delicious. It's a Belgian triple. Belgian triple cherry. Yours actually has more alcohol than mine does. Oops, and I haven't eaten. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna get a blue cheese. Uh, sauteed onion and mushroom burger. 
gonna be trash. That seems fantastic. Yes. Take this back out. I want to add a, one of those pub pretzels to it. Oh, a pub pretzel. Yes. My mom and dad are meeting us here, and basically you have to wear a mask on your way in, and then when you sit, they have you outside, and you're away from people, and you can take your mask off. So, so we're gonna sit and have some lunch. And then I have a Zoom video call with Diva Nitz, Alicia Wallace, later at 8 o'clock. So I'll bring you along for that. Cheers. Cheers. Mommy and Daddy just got here. It's a yeah, it's a nice. double date. He's gonna have to leave that. Yep. The cheese. For the French fries and the onion rings. Oh, yeah. oh, I put my knitting in the car. Oh, she's knitting a steam punk sock. Dermatologist. I put it on the dermatologist. I'm not hitting the right story. Oh, I was panicking about my nails. I bless them. I don't know how they wear them all day long. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, we had a lovely lunch, except it's really hot out. Um, so I had to be in the car because I get really sick from the heat. So I just came in the car to have some air conditioning. But um, we're all done lunch. It was really nice. Uh, my burger was delicious. And now we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. Um, we don't usually go to this many places because we're really scared of the virus. So this is the first time that we're like lunch in a store type of thing. Um, but for the advents, there are some things that we have to get and we weren't able to order online. So uh, we definitely have to go. We're just gonna send like one person in and then, or maybe me and my mom will go in because she usually needs a little bit of help. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to Hobby Lobby and pick out some things for her fall and Halloween bags and then, uh, for the advents. So we already have the main fabric for the advents. We just need the, um, inside fabric and maybe like a coordinating outside fabric because she does them in blocked colors sometimes. So, uh, we have to decide what we'd like, but the main fabric is so adorable. It came in the mail today. Um, I wish I could show you, but it's got to be a surprise, so. So yeah, um, I brought my knitting, so I'm just gonna do some knitting in the car until they're done. They're just finishing up their beers. <laughs> 